Hey guys, welcome back to Prime Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Today uh, I got a, a call here from one of the shops to diagnose a vehicle. Doing a little homework on the computer right now. It's a 1988 Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra with a 2.5 liter four cylinder. I guess the Iron Duke, huh? And the complaint is, he said he narrowed it down. Uh, Cylinder number three is misfiring. Now, this is a throttle body injection system, so not really worried about fuel there. It's either compression or ignition. And here we have a wiring diagram of the ignition system. Uh, I think the compression here already verified. So, looking at the diagram, of, uh, I haven't worked on one of these before. Uh, but it looks like it is a direct in ignition system uh, waste spark. So we have two coils, you know, two cylinders there, two cylinders there. And this is all one integrated module with a pickup coil. So that's like a crankshaft position sensor. And uh, yeah, so if one cylinder is misfiring, uh, that's kind of strange. Usually if, you know, if one coil cuts out, then both would be misfiring. So this should be a, an interesting case study. So I'll take you along. So we're at Big Al's garage. We got this classic in, in the shop, a 1988 Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra. Uh, under the hood, it's the four cylinder Iron Duke. I think 73 miles on the odometer, original. Check out this. Uh, interior so customer complaint is it's misfiring and uh, you know usually I wouldn't go this route but why not let's see if the Varus can handle OBD1 or uh, whatever this is so it's a GM adapter we got one code it says rich exhaust so that's a clue but it's an effect I think not a cause of our problem now look at, let's look, take a look at the data. <clears throat> so it's actually a pretty impressive amount of data for a 1988. So the, the Americans were ahead of their time in giving, you, uh, giving the technician some good information. I'm just listening. <laughs> You're going to be on camera, Al. <laughs> I gave Al a, a discount here. He let me shoot a video, so I appreciate that. Um, well, no one knows who Big Al is, right? Yeah, right. Everyone does. <laughs> does. Alright, let's start it up, see, see how it runs. Definitely a hard miss. So, in the data here, we're probably not going to get anything useful in terms of. Uh, yeah, most. So next next step, I think we'll do a a cylinder drop test under the hood. All right. So on this style, there are two coils. It's a waste spark system. They're way down there. I unhooked all the plug wires, and we're just gonna see if the spark jumps from uh, uh, you know terminal to terminal. Okay, go ahead, Al. Crank it. Oh yeah, this is Charlie here. Hey Charlie. Hey Charlie, we only know that shit. Charlie. All right, well, we see a definite problem. The top foil was not sparking. So it looks like you have a two-cylinder misfire. Okay, well, it's not the coil. It's not so the coil, then we got to go towards the module, yep. Yeah, it's probably the module. That's yep. what I thought. So here it is, running on two cylinders, surprisingly well. Doing some bench tests on this ignition coil. First, I'm going to measure continuity for the power feed to each coil. So 0 0.5 ohms on that one, 0 0.6 ohms, 0 0.5 on that. So our power feed is okay. Now, the coils themselves, I'm going to measure the continuity of the primary winding. 
Checking the primary winding. 1.6 ohms in that one. And see 1.2. No, you this can't test again. the new ones. I know where you're going. No. I know that oh, I don't need to test the new ones out. These these are just fine. 1.2. Yep, they're equal. So our coils are fine. Alright. So there's the module. It's off of the uh, backing plate. The way it works is there's a crank sensor and it plugs right in the back of that. So we're going to take a test light to ground, make sure our test light works. Alright. I'm going to check for a power feed to each one, each coil. So of these four pins, two of them should be hot all the time. The key on, that one's hot. That one's a control pin. That one's a control pin. That one's hot. Alright, so we got our two feeds to the coils. Now I'm going to attach the test light to battery positive and touch them on the controls and it should flash when the car is being cranked. Alright, test number one. I'm on the lower of the two control wires and I got my test light hooked to battery positive and just a jumper to get a good camera shot at this. So I'm going to crank it and if that control wire works, that test light should flicker. Alright, ready? Great. Now let's check the other control wire. And if that one doesn't flicker, we need a new control module, no question about it. Alright, here we go. We're in the second control wire. Cranking. Nothing. Alright, Al, I need a new ignition module, 100%. It's not the crank. Nope, if it was a crank sensor, both of them wouldn't fire. I guess we're done here. Thanks for watching.